Okay, this is part four of the uh, beach trim, aileron trim mechanism video. Uh, disclaimer again, I have no clue what I'm talking about and if you take my advice you will almost certainly die. Okay, so uh, I haven't mounted this yet. So this is where it mounts onto the control arm, whether it's a, a single or a dual control arm. And uh, if I rotate the aileron controls, move the aileron controls, you can see the mechanism in there that engages with uh, the um, bar from the trim mechanism. So I'm going to take this apart. So remember it's a left hand thread, so if we're looking at it from the front, if we go left, the back of it winds off and loosens up the um, friction uh, mechanism. I'm going to take that apart and just show you. So if we take, remember this, this is the front bit. Uh, of the trim mechanism and it has the counterwound spring is in it. If we take uh, this piece and just sit it there and rotate, you can see that this piece here is engaged with the mechanism in uh, the other one mechanism inside the control arm. So now we're going to put on the rear, we're going to mount uh, this beast. And so remember we've got three bolts that hold it on there. But inside this, the rear part or the aircraft side of the trim mechanism, remember there are two washers and a spring. They're essential parts of the uh, friction part of the trim mechanism. So this center piece is going to be mounted and fixed to the thing, but the outside, the outside rotates and has our, our friction mechanism in it. So I'm just going to screw that on here. Very simple. Line that up. One. Two. There we go. So this part is fixed to the to the control arm. This part is free to rotate. Next step is we put the trim thing in. Now we've got to make sure that this piece is aligned with the uh, aileron mechanism. So make sure your ailerons are centralised. Put that in there. Whoop, upside down. So you can put it in upside down uh, if you're decal isn't in the right place uh, with the uh, control centralized and you can take out this circlip rotate that put it back in so remember this is a right hand thread so when you rotate the back sorry I, <laughs> my cameraman's corrected me it's a left hand thread so you got to wind the rear of the control trim the control uh, clockwise to tighten it up now I'm actually going to leave it loose a bit so that when I rotate the ailerons, you can see that's moving, so I know it's engaged. And uh, with that, uh, with no or little friction, that should rotate, and that's a normal operation. If we tighten this up, so remember we're increasing the friction by rotating the back uh, right clockwise. So let's tighten it right up, and now. If we rotate the control, the aileron controls, it's not moving. Uh, so that means that when we're rotating the controls, it um, is also the ailerons are pushing against the springs inside the control. So the trimmer control. So um, if I don't want to put unnecessary stress on my um, autopilot system, and uh, we'll go through that, you just leave it, and that just means that uh, you're not. Are fighting against the springs in here. They're not hard springs, but nonetheless, it's putting a, a uh, 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 some pressure on the aileron system if if this is done up. So let's say we take off. Uh, I'll explain how I use it anyway. Take off flying along, um, fat, dumb, and happy. Do all the usual trim for straight and level. Uh, and let's imagine that uh, we've got some uh, portly chaps in the right hand seat in the front, and the right hand seat in the back. And a lot of fuel in the right wing and not much in the left and the aircraft's tending to roll to the right so all I can do is 
tighten this up and then put in a bit of left trim to counteract uh, that roll so that I can fly hands off and the aircraft with the elevator trim and the aileron trim should be straight and level. So I just put that in and as you rotate that right or left it's putting more and more spring tension onto the aileron system to counteract that roll. So once I've set it in that position it should stay there. So if I rotate the controls, now see that moved a bit so I just need to tighten it up a bit more. Rotating the back piece like that and so now it stays there and that's counteracting that roll. Now the reason um, that I don't leave it in that position is that as the weight and balance changes then it might need to be readjusted. In fact if I leave it like that and get into a situation where I've got lots of weight on the left hand side and not on the right, the um, roll servo in the autopilot is constantly trying to push, put in roll, right roll to counteract that left tendency and it's fighting against that um, spring that's that's putting left hand roll tension into uh, into the aileron system and having just spent uh, 3.5 AMUs on a new roll servo for the autopilot system I'm very keen to put as little stress on the um, on the uh, roll servo in the autopilot as possible so it's back to um, uh, uh, airmanship 101 and, and uh, efficient flight 101 you trim the aircraft out so that it's straight and level hands off then engage the autopilot and the autopilot should be doing a, a very little work and it shouldn't be fighting against uh, the springs in the um, aileron trim system so I'm going to loosen this off so remember right hand thread sorry left hand thread at the back just rotate that um, anti-clockwise and again that loosens it up and therein ends the videos